Hey, what's up guys? I'm Clint and you're watching my channel, The Not Lost Nomad. This is the Eagle Rock Loop. It's a 30 mile loop located east of Mena, Arkansas in the Wachita National Forest. It's made of three trails, the Athens Big Fork, Files Branch, and Little Missouri Trails. So if you wanna go on this trip yourself, you need to answer four questions. First of all, where you wanna park? There's five trailheads along this loop and you need to pick how many nights you wanna spend. Most people do it in two nights. Some people spread it out to three nights. But most importantly, you need to check the water levels and the weather. This place is prone to flash flooding. You need to check the website, which I will share right here. Enjoy this video, and if it's helpful to you, do me a favor and click that like and subscribe button. Enjoy the video. All right, let's get started on this trail. All right, so after you cross the creek here, Little Missouri Falls is to your left. I'm going to the right, and this is where it turns south. But yeah, six ridge lines we're gonna cross over today. Gonna be some really great views today. All right, so coming up this first ridge line. All right, so when you make it to the top of this first ridge, any kind of extra viewpoint or vista that's on this map, I'm gonna hit and I'm gonna show you which ones are worth your time. Which ones, if you're gonna skip any, you may wanna skip. All right, so hiking this way, get close to the bottom. Yeah, that's looking back. It's uh straight up and down. Very few switchbacks, which makes it kind of difficult going downhill. All right, heading back up. So this is the top of the second ridge. I'm trying to catch my breath before I head back down. All right, I'm gonna attempt to cross right up here. Uh, see white blazes right there. So just look for the gate. Climbing up to ridge number three. All right. So making to the top of the third ridge line. This is not easy. And about to head down. All right, made it to the top. Not much of a view from here. Pretty cool campsite. All right, getting down to the creek now. Cool, I am refueled up. As far as I can tell from the map, I got two more climbs. All right, looks like this is the road. I don't know where to go from here. All right, I found it. Just cross the road here, and then you'll see the sign right this way. So there's the rest of Athens Big Fork Trail. Yes. 
make sure you keep going that way. There's an ATV trail and a fence line right this way that leads into another trail. I don't know what it is, but you need to keep going that way. Yeah, they warned me about brush heat. It's long, pretty, but no fun. All right, you can't tell, but that's steep. Climbing up Brush Heap Mountain from Blaylock Creek sucks. Just came up from that way. That's really steep. And going up here. Okay, so when you get to the top of Brush Heap Mountain, you're gonna see a campsite. The trail continues to the right. But if you wanna go see the view at the top of Brush Heap Mountain, take this trail straight up that way. That's what I'm about to do right now. Definitely the highest viewpoint so far. Of course, not a lot of fun. A lot of briars. Okay, so that absolutely was not fun getting through. Nothing but briars. Views awesome. You're gonna pay for it. Go for it if you're wearing some pants. If you're wearing shorts like I am, maybe just get to this point right here, because this is still awesome. All right, now down the mountain. Get up there and check it out. I think it's worth it. Trail is pretty much wide open after you pass Brush Peak Mountain. This is a breath of fresh air from what Athens Big Fork has been so far. The trail comes through here, crosses here, and it takes a very sharp left and it goes right along the bank that way. All right, so I should be coming up to Eagle Rock Vista pretty quick. So I made it to the top of the saddle here. Nice view, but brush heaps better. Eagle Rock Vista. It's not just a viewpoint. You got places to camp all up here if you get enough water for the night. Falls Branch should be soon. All right, sweet. Made it to the Falls Branch Trail on the southern part of the Eagle Rock Loop. Again, if you want to continue Eagle Rock Loop, take a left. The Little Missouri Trail is 3.5 miles that way. Okay, so now that we've joined on the Vals Branch Trail, there's gonna be two blazes. I've been following the white blazes. Now we have a white and a yellow that we're following because we're on the Vals Branch, which is part of the Eagle Rock Loop. So, until I get to the Little Missouri Trail, we'll be looking for that right there. Okay, so now it's five o'clock. I've hiked 10 miles. Um, I'd like to try to get close to the Little Missouri Trail. I'm just gonna keep going for about another hour and see how far I can get. So many crossings. Yeah, yeah. So far, Viles Branch is just back and forth, crossing the stream over and over and over again. See a lot of tents. Looks like it's busy. This place is packed. I'm trying to film, but I'm at that point I'm beat. All right, so I'm on the Vals Branch Trail, uh, probably about halfway through. I got me a good old fire going. Got the jet bowl going for some Cuban black beans and rice. So I'm about to call it a night. I can lay it down. I'm gonna sleep late tomorrow. Finish up this Biles Branch section and then make it over to the Little Missouri River. See how far I can make it tomorrow. So I did 12.7 today. I'm gonna see if I can do about the same tomorrow. I don't have near as much up and down. Anyways, I'll see you in the morning. All right, 
right, so I am packed up. Again, I'm on the Viles Branch Trail. I'm probably about halfway through. When I'm continuing east. I'm gonna be heading towards the Little Missouri Trail. I should be looking at a pretty good water crossing here pretty soon. I'm gonna continue up the Little Missouri Trail past the Albert Pike Wilderness and make my way closer to Little Missouri Falls. So I'm probably looking at about 10 miles today, maybe. And if I feel good, I'm probably gonna push it a little further. Today is definitely gonna be easier than yesterday. There's not a lot of peaks like we crossed over yesterday. So anyways, I'm gonna hit the trail and get moving. All right, let's do it. All right, leaving my campsite right over there. Feeling good so far. Feet are holding up okay. Got some fresh clothes on. Feel like a new person. So we got a bit of a mess going through here, but there are trails to the side. I think I see the Little Missouri River. So if that is a Little Missouri, I'm about to be crossing it. This is going to be a more significant water crossing. I'm probably going to have to take my shoes off. About to knock out the last part of this Viles Branch Trail. I'm about to join with the Little Missouri Trail. Right, so this is the Little Missouri River. Now we got to look for the blazes and I can see flags on the other end. came from that way, from the Viles Branch. I came across diagonally. There is tape right here. Now when you get across, the trail is gonna split. Viles Branch is gonna continue to your right. Eagle Rock Loop, the Little Missouri Trail is gonna go left after you cross the Little Missouri River. Up from the river, you'll see the actual sign. And this way. Walking through a big flat floodplain right now. You can tell when the Little Missouri gets up, this whole area is underwater. So this is a very mossy section, it makes the blazes a little bit more difficult to see, but the trail's easy to follow. There it is. That is the famous refrigerator. It's become quite the landmark. There she is. Oh man, got a new girl in town. So many goodies down here. So now I'm coming into the winding stairs section. So I've camped here before. If there's any way you can take your time going through this section, do it. Cause it's absolutely gorgeous through here. Okay, so when you get to this section and you can see the winding stairs, the trail goes up to the right and hugs the bank. So just make sure you don't miss it. Ooh, it's a muddy section too. A little bit tricky. Yeah, I got some mess to get through. Again, yeah, this whole section for about a quarter of a mile, Looks like it's wet all the time. Got spring water flowing through. Super slippery through here. a ton of campsites over the next half mile. It's a very popular place. Yeah, this place is always amazing to see.
take your time going through that section. Go explore it while you're here. Soak up the winding stairs area. The place is beautiful and it's a really small section compared to the entirety of this entire trail. I'm coming up on the crossing of the Little Missouri River. Just look for markers. I see all types of blazes and stuff right there. And you'll see a trail on the other side going that way. The view up the Little Missouri River. We just made it across Little Missouri. Across this tree somehow. It's gonna be fun. I've just made it up to the top section of this climb. It's the first significant climb of the day. Good view over there towards those peaks. I should be going downhill from here, getting closer to the winding stairs trailhead where I'll keep going towards Albert Pike. All right, so I'm definitely hitting the home stretch where we're gonna be dropping down. Everything is so much greener over here than everything I saw yesterday. Got to cross this. The trailhead for winding stairs is going to be straight up this way. Okay, so I just crossed here. And it appears uh, you go to the left a little bit. And there's a sign up here. Tell me which way to go. And here we go. Just came from that way. I'm heading this way. Here. Okay, so I don't know what road this is, but there is a road going parallel to us right now. This is a really long gradual uphill. So winding stairs trailhead is that way. And it looks like we just go straight across. I'm still climbing straight up. Got some views opening up towards Albert Pike. It looks like there's a really good view up there. This vista is not on the map. It looks like it could be cool. Yeah, I don't want to go up there, but I might, I might have to. Let's do it. I'm doing this for you. Holy crap. This view is up here. This right here is the Albert Pike Recreation Area. Alright, 
All right. So that view is awesome. I've never heard of any details on this spot. I've seen pictures of it, didn't know what it was, but I will share the details in between winding stairs and the Albert Pack. Kind of an unexpected climb, but I'm glad I did it. That was beautiful. So yes, it's definitely worth the effort. So just came up from up there. I mean, who says came up from up there? I mean, came down. I just came down from there. Heading down the mountain now. the old Albert Pike recreation area. So I can't remember the date, but on a tragic night, um, there was a really bad flash flood that came through here and killed dozens of people. There was really no warning for them. It's a horrible story. But since then, they've completely shut down the recreation area. There's no overnight, there's no facilities. The place is kind of like a ghost town. So whenever you get here, you're gonna see parking lots and restrooms and picnic areas, and it's all overgrown. It's uh, definitely a sad, sad story. All right. So, you should tell me which way to go from here. Eagle Rock Loop and the Little Missouri Trail continue that way. That's the blaze. Continue on that way. And there's no overnight parking, no overnight camping or anything like that. So at the end of the picnic area, it's slash day use area and you're looking for this sign right here eagle rock loop so my whole goal in making this video is to show you what it's like to do this trail i've watched dozens of videos on the eagle rock loop and there's so much stuff on this trail I've yet to see even on the video. So hopefully all of this makes some sense and it's helpful. And if it is, hit that like and subscribe button. Coming up on another road, got to cross a little stream up here. And there is the road. And now I'm crossing this creek right here. Over to the stairs. Crossing this little off-road trail, I don't know. There's the bridge we saw earlier. And I'm continuing on this way. Two water crossings right there, back to back, heading this way. But yeah, this is what I just crossed. That's a little Missouri. So as much of a pain as it is to take my shoes off, put my Crocs on, cross, dry my feet off and put my shoes back on, it feels great. Walking through this ice cold water Honestly, it's refreshing. It is a pain, but it is refreshing. Back to the trail. There's the bridge over the Little Missouri. Trail heads this way. All right, now I'm crossing the road. Okay, now I'm turning away from the river, kind of going further into the forest.
so the trail crosses right over here but i'm gonna try ease up this way to see if it might be better where he's at not bad. This crossing is a little bit tricky. It doesn't look bad, but it's got a lot of flat rock that's really slippery and it gets pretty deep. Right across that way. Okay. So that was probably the most difficult crossing so far. I didn't like that one. There's a blaze up and to the left. So the cool thing about this being a big loop is some of the people I was seeing on the trail yesterday running into them today, making friends. All right, another crossing. There is water everywhere. Quite a few fields here. Little side trail. Let's go check out this little waterfall. All right, climbing back on up. So you can probably see the river down there. Quite a ways above it, just skirting along. <sighs> Made it to camp. I'm glad I held out too. I think I have a perfect campsite. This place is sweet. It's flat, fire pit. Check out this view over here. All right, Cody Walford, this is for you, buddy. Mr. Wofford, I did it. Woohoo! A little bit sore. It's like 12 miles today. We got breakfast for dinner tonight. Beat. I'm hungry. And let's call it a night. I'll see ya. pretty. About 7.30, gonna have a quick breakfast, pack everything up. I got about four miles back to the trailhead at the north end of Athens Big Fork. But I'm gonna finish up and then uh, pack things up and head on out of here. So we'll see ya. Time to go. All right, so here is a set of falls that I just camped by. My campsite's right over there. If you pass through this section, the trail's gonna go to the right and kind of wind around most of this rocky section. This is one of the trickier sections. There's really not a good place to cross. I was trying to keep my feet dry, but I took a spill and went in. <sighs> Almost made the whole trip without getting my shoes wet. Here we go. From here, you cross right back over. And the trail's gonna be on the other side of rural Missouri. All right, so this is it. The way you can tell, see the two markers on the other side, and you'll see the trail going right up that way. All the way across. See this green string going across here? That signifies that this is a water crossing here because there's a lot of people that miss and we keep going and they lose trail that way. So anyways, recap. I camp right over there, cross this, circle back over, then you cross this section here and on. So here we go. Should be getting close to Little Missouri Falls pretty soon. You can tell you're coming up on Little Missouri Falls when you see this little rail going down to this viewpoint and you will hear the falls. Little Missouri Falls. 
Under normal circumstances, I would crawl all the way down there and get some beautiful shots. But I'm in that last stretch of this and my feet are killing me. So this is the Little Missouri Falls Trailhead. Some people like to start the Eagle Rock Loop at this trailhead because it is a nice facility. There's the parking area, restrooms, picnic spots, and here's the sign you're looking for. It tells me I have 4.1 miles to go. I thought I had 4.1 miles total for the day. I got a little bit further to go than I thought. Dang it. So if you are planning to use this trailhead, this is gonna be the area that you're parking in right here. This trail leads off to the left right there at that blaze. So you're not missing much on this part. It's just a lot of this up and down. And that's looking back from what I just came through. about two miles to go. All right, starting to meet back up with the creek here. Taking a little detour for an easier crossing. The trail continues that way. be able to see it but I see a bright red Milwaukee truck Milwaukee tools not the beer I'm in the home stretch oh, tell you what this trail is not easy this trail is pretty big young tough it's great it's <laughs> you want to challenge yourself get out here and do it it's it's really awesome Damn! And I'm done. Yeah!